Carnivore diet. What to eat the carnivore diet? The carnivore diet equation is deceptively simple. The carnivore equation meat plus water equals carnivore diet. Who would have thought so many questions could arise from such a simple equation? In my experience it's best to start with a three-level process for the smoothest transition and best results. The three levels are described briefly below and also in the 30-day guide to going full carnivore which I recommend reading before starting. You can grab it here. The ultimate 30-day guide to going full carnivore. Whether you are keto and considering carnivore or just curious what it takes, this is your ultimate manual. What to eat on the carnivore diet. Your primary focus should be on fatty meat, especially B. Lamb, pork, chicken, and fish are next on your list. And, if you'd like, eggs and low-carb dairy products like butter, heavy whipping cream and hard cheeses. Your go-to beef cuts, steaks, ribeye, sirloin, strip, chalkai, roasts, prime rib, chick, brisket, ground beef organs if you want, though not necessary. Note on organ meats. There are carnivores who believe organ meats are necessary for complete nutrition. I don't believe this is true. But I've done some interesting experiments with liver that may be worth trying out. Having studied human evolution there is evidence that organ meats may have played a role in human brain development at a brain, liver, or cold water fish to your plan if you're concerned. They are high in DHA which plays a vital role in brain function. More meats. Lamb. Chops ribs shank. Pork. Shoulder pork belly but roasts ribs. Poultry. Wings thighs and drumsticks chicken breasts are too lean so eat sparingly or with other fatty meats. Fish. Salmon trout mackerel sardines crab lobster shrimp scallops. Beverages. Water. With or without carbonation or minerals. Bone broth okay. But test without for at least some time. Coffee tea sides and exceptions. Coffee. Coffee is a plant extract and caffeine is a natural insecticide. But, if everyone tried to get through the carnivore adaptation plus caffeine withdrawal, carnivores would likely become endangered or extinct. If you are a coffee drinker, I recommend you keep drinking it for the first 30 days. Coffee is an okay exception for most carnivores, though I do recommend starting to wean off towards the end of the month after adaptation symptoms resolve a bit. Though most people do fine with coffee, for some people cutting it makes all the difference. It's worth it to find out if that's you. Technically most carnivores okay eggs and some dairy like butter, hard cheeses and heavy whipping cream. It's best to think of these as sides and not main dishes. Since intolerances to these are actually quite common, I personally recommend going without for at least some time. See level 2. Especially dairy. After removing them for a time, if you desire, you can reintroduce them later and evaluate how you feel. What to avoid on the carnivore diet. Everything that is not meat. Seasoning and sauces alcohol sorry it's just not a health food as bad as we may wish it were. If you can't give it up that's an important thing to know. I've seen a carnivore diet not only curb carb cravings but also things like nicotine, alcohol and caffeine. Might be the perfect way to start cutting back. Minimize processed meats. It frequently contains additives you don't want it added. Aged meats are high in histamines, which increase sensitivities, intolerances, and inflammation, the things we are wanting to remove. How much to eat on the carnivore diet? Eat when hungry. Eat until full. Listen to your body. I found the majority of people average two meals per day. But some people do best on three meals a day, while others do best on one meal per day. Neither one, two, three, or four is better than the other. Let your appetite guide you. While your body is adapting and healing from years of malnutrition, it is common that you will eat twice as much as you will once healed. Eat. Your body has been dying for it. Two negative four pounds of fatty meat per day can be a guide for shopping purposes. It is important that you do not intentionally restrict calories or food intake or force fasting. I'll explain why in the warning at the end. Most people eat somewhere between 2 and 4 LBS day on average. The amounts depends on so many variables, kind cut of meat, fat content, your activity, height, weight, genetics, metabolism, eat until satisfied. How often to eat on the carnivore diet? You should drop your preconceived notions of how many meals to eat per day. You should eat when you are hungry. 
you should eat until you are full. That said, I did a bit of research and investigating and found that on average, 70% two meals day, 20% one meal day, 10% three meal day, one meal per day is not better than two, nor three better than four. Carnivore diet snacks. If you eat enough fatty meat at your meal, you should not feel like snacking. If you feel continually hungry after eating you need to eat more during meals eat more meals many people have a habit of snacking and find they have an urge to snack even when not hungry. If it is something you can or don't want to kick, pork rinds can be used to snack on. Be careful what they are cooked in. No vegetable oils. I've found that this snacking habit fades for most carnivores over time. Getting started. Levels 1, 2, and 3. I recommend viewing the carnivore diet in three levels when starting. The point is not to make it more complex, rather provide a framework to make this diet work for as many people as possible. Here's a brief overview, but for a more thorough look at the three levels grab the 30-day guide to going full carnivore. Level 1 Protocol Meat if it's meat or fish, it's on the menu sides and exceptions coffee and tea butter, cheese, and heavy whipping cream eggs supplements, during adaptation pink Himalayan salt electrolytes other. If having digestive issues, more on these here. Lipase beta in HCL ox bile level 2 protocol. Meat plus water no processed meats no sides or exceptions including coffee, tea, eggs, butter, cheese, whipping cream no supplements exception, pink Himalayan salt exception. If you are skipping level 1 and going straight to level 2 level 3 protocol. Beef only, ideally grass fed and finished. Plus water level 3 is the ultimate elimination diet. Cut everything but, grass fed, grass finished, the fan water. I know this isn't convenient I know this isn't cheap I also know that if you go this pure for 30 more days, it will be worth it if you can afford the grass fed, grass finished beef, then doing just beef and water is the way to go. Eliminating other meats like pork and seafood. Beyond level 3. After completing 30 days at level 3 you are in a prime position to personalize and perfect your diet. From here you slowly and systematically add back and test foods and evaluate how you feel and react to them. Start by adding back in beef that is not grass-fed finished, if you are able to do just grass-fed, finished, then test other meats then test eggs then test ok dairy then test coffee tea example. After completing level 3 if you try adding back in pork and notice ill symptoms, keep it out of your regular diet. If you test back in dairy, like cheese, and notice bloating, cut it. But you may try adding eggs back in, and you feel good with the man like having them as a side. Keep them. You may try having your morning coffee again, and enjoy it and feel great with it. Add it back in. Personalize your plan. The best way to do this is complete level 3 and then only add back in one test item at a time using grass-fed and finished beef as your baseline to test everything against. Choosing Levels I recommend most people start at level 1 for 30 days. If you are not a coffee drinker then starting off at level 2, plus supplements from level 1, is often a great place to start. I do not recommend jumping to level 3 until having completed at least 30 days at either level 1 or 2. Beyond the Carnivore Diet Experiment most carnivores settle somewhere between level 1 and level 2. By completing level 3 you will know where the best place is for you. If you want to experiment adding back in plants or fruits or sugars, I don't recommend it, but go for it. Just remember testing off a baseline of grass-fed and finished beef is the best way to get accurate feedback. While most people get great feedback 30, 60, and 90 days into a carnivore diet, for some people reversing the years of damage takes months to years. The longer your test experiment the better gauge you'll have knowing if this diet is for you. If you survive the experiment congratulations. I have a strange feeling you won't want to stop experimenting. If you complete 30 days at level 3, congrats, I know that's not easy. You've probably never been in a better position in your life to determine what works for and with you, and what doesn't. Dial in on your superhuman foods and just as importantly, your kryptonite. The three carnivore guides. There are three guides that I highly recommend downloading when starting this way of eating. 1. How to lose fat on the carnivore diet. The three steps. Many people come to this diet for fat loss. This guide is a must read. How to lose fat on the carnivore diet. 2. Health dangers of a plant-based diet. 
Many people want to know why do this and why have people had such great success. Here's your answers. Health dangers of a plant-based diet. 3. The ultimate 30-day guide to going full carnivore. The transition and implementation of the carnivore diet can be really hard. This guide is your go-to reference for all your questions and issues during those first 30, 60, 90 days. Grab these three guides and you are 